everybody. Now, I want you to know we're all okay after last week's mishap. <laughs> now, some of us didn't want to come back on the set, but we've had it thoroughly checked out, and nothing can go wrong. Right, Wayne? Absolutely. Everything was totally secure, including the giant sword. What giant sword? <laughs> Brenda. Hi, Kelly. How was your date last night? Oh, it was really tough. He wanted to take me to an underground club, drink, do drugs, and have sex without a condom. That's really bad. Going to clubs that cater to underage teenagers, drinking, doing drugs, and having sex without condoms is very, very dangerous and not at all cool. I know. That's why I didn't do it. And I never will. What's up? Kelly almost went to an underground club, drank, did drugs, and had sex without a condom. Wow. It's really good you didn't. Because all those things are bad and wrong and not at all hip to do. <gasps> Here comes Dylan. He's so cool. <gasps> What's happening? Actually, in a People magazine poll, married women over the age of 30 did prefer me. Almost went to an underground club, drank, did drugs, and had sex without a condom. Hey, I've been there. And believe me, it's wrong. Nobody should do any of those things if they want to be cool. Still acts so tough, but inside, he's so sensitive. Maybe if I pile my hair higher and pointier. You know, just thinking about what you almost did makes me cry. Wow, a tough guy who isn't afraid to cry. What could be cooler? Hey, I'm starting to cry a little bit myself here. Uh, hi, Tori. What's up? Nothing. I just thought I'd button to your scene. I can, you know, because this is my daddy's show. <laughs> we know, Tori. I can pretty much do anything I want. See? <gasps> that was really, really mean. Hey, Tori. I've been there. But hitting people and butting into their scenes is not a way to be cool. Oh, yeah? Well, how about this? <laughs> See, I could do that, too, if I want, because this is my daddy's show. <laughs> These tears are for you, Tori. Hey, if this means you can't do that tiger beat cover, I'll be glad to fill in. Hey, nobody steals my magazine covers. <laughs> hair boy! <laughs> this is crazy! Oh, their hair is so sharp. One of them could lose an eye. There's nothing to see. What is the blood teacher doing in our school? <laughs> I don't have to go anywhere. This is my daddy's show. <laughs> With Riders 20...
transplants that cause brain damage. Because now there's an irreversible way to reverse what was once considered irreversible. And it's all here in this book. Sound a little too simple, you say? Well, <laughs> don't most miracles, but it's true. Just practicing the simple secret techniques in here can change your life. But don't listen to me. Listen to the people who have. It's just incredible. I have tried everything. Cream, scalp massages, you name it. And the answer was just so simple. You gotta believe me. This is all my own hair. No kidding. And guess before, I did have a problem. It was so easy and inexpensive, I never would have thought it was possible. Me either. <laughs> These miracle methods work even if you are completely bald. My family is still in shock. Would you believe that when I bought the book, I only had one hair left? <laughs> but it didn't matter. I couldn't believe he was bald, even after he told me. Miracle combing methods teaches you how to use whatever hair you have left anywhere on your body to give yourself a full, rich, thick, head of hair. The new life can be yours. Just send $29.95 plus $400 postage and handling to evil lying bastards from hell. <laughs> what Michael Jackson is doing right this minute. What the Arms family is doing right this minute. Oh, your father's going to be so surprised. Shh, quiet, everybody. Here he comes. such a good idea after all. Oh, chocolate. What Cher is doing right this minute. <laughs> What's happening at a baby safety store right this minute. Hello, and welcome to Safest Baby, where your baby's safety is our obsession. <laughs> oh, and who is this? Adorable little cutie. This is Ben. ben. <laughs> well, he's just precious. I can see why you want to protect him. Well, he is our first. We are a little nervous. <laughs> well, you should be. There are so many endless hidden lurking dangers in every household. <laughs> really? Oh, yes. Frankly, it's a miracle any of us get out of our childhoods alive. Well, where do we begin? Well, first, I'd like to recommend several bags of these edge covers. Every sharp corner on a fine piece of furniture is just waiting to poke out an eye or gouge deep into a soft young skull. <laughs> and then some of these wall socket caps to keep Junior from becoming an extra crispy bucket to go. I never would have thought of that. You know, I can see you're both responsible parents, interested in your baby's welfare, no matter what the expense. Absolutely. Oh, yes. Well, then, you may want to try the latest advancement in infant protection, the safest baby full-body cocoon. What's that? The simplest way to explain is to just show you. <laughs> there. He looks kind of stupid. <laughs> yes, if safe is stupid. I know words are cheap, so let me demonstrate. One of the most common household accidents is when young children hurt themselves on sharp objects. <laughs> well, worry no more. Hey, it just bounces right off the suit. Incredible. And how many of these precious darlings have seriously burnt themselves on hot toasters or ovens? All in the past. <laughs> Constant balmy 72 degrees. Uh, <laughs> he could actually look comfortable.
gently on the surface of the sun for several weeks. But, but wait, there's more. How about a nasty tumble down stairs or even worse? Oh, no. Bang! This is amazing. And fun. <laughs> there, there. Be careful with them. I'm almost afraid to ask how much. Only $19.95. You're kidding. Well, take it. Oh. Oh. What's it doing? Well, that's the one glitch we haven't been able to work out yet. The suits have a tendency to take off and head for Jupiter. No one knows why. I'm not paying for that. Stay tuned for the further adventures of Safest Baby! I made my hair even higher and pointier than ever. Dylan better watch out now. But, Brandon, fighting is wrong and not at all cool. Maybe you're right. I realize I was wrong now. Life is so hard. I mean, everyone in our world is just so incredibly, unbelievably cute, I can't believe it. I mean, I'm just attracted to everyone I see. Me too. <laughs> I went through the same kind of phase when I was a kid. And I'm the exact demographic that prefers Brandon to Dylan. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> oh, oh, Dylan, oh, I can explain. Damn it. He taught me again. <laughs> hey, you don't have to explain. I've been there. I fooled around with all my sisters. Pretty hard not to when everybody's so incredibly good looking. Hey, man. Sorry about the fight. Me too. I think we both learned. Fighting is not cool. Tori, what are you doing here? I can be anywhere I want. This is my daddy's show. In fact, I brought a few friends. Who are they? These are all the stars from all my dad's new shows. Melrose Place, 2000 Malibu Road, Brentwood Bimbos, Bel Air Breast, and Homeby Hills Hookers. Just get dad an L.A. neighborhood and he'll give you a hit. Oh, no, we're not special anymore. There's only one thing to do. Hair fight! <laughs> See which one I prefer, Brandon or Dylan. Hey, definitely Dylan. He's faster than a Jimmy Dean sausage. Woo! 